Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got these uh, two squares, uh, this uh, green square and this uh, yellow square put together as you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, the diagonal of this uh, yellow square is uh, two times uh, square root of 23 units, whereas uh, this uh, segment uh, CD is uh, 10 units. And now our task is uh, to find the value of this uh, diagonal length uh, AB. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And now we are going to focus uh, on this uh, yellow square first. And I'm going to label its uh, side length uh, as uh, X. And since uh, all the side lengths are uh, same, so this side length is going to be x, uh, x, uh, and x uh, across the board. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, EFD. And let's keep in mind that this uh, angle is our 90 degree angle since we are dealing with these uh, squares. And now we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. And in our case, our two legs are x and x, and our hypotenuse is two times square root of 23. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. So we got x square plus x square once again equals to two times square root of 23 whole square. Now let's combine these like terms. That is going to give us uh, 2 times uh, x square. And if we simplify this uh, right hand side, that is going to give us uh, 92. So therefore, our x square value turns out to be 46. I'm going to undo this uh, square by taking square root on both uh, sides. So therefore, x turns out to be square root of uh, 46. And now we can see x uh, represents the side length of this uh, yellow square. So therefore, the yellow square side length turns out to be square root of 46. So therefore, uh, this side length uh, is going to be square root of 46. Uh, this side length is uh, square root of 46. Uh, likewise, this one is square root of 46 uh, as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus now on this uh, green shaded uh, square. And now let's assume the side length of this uh, green uh, square is uh, lowercase a. Since all these side lengths are same, so this side length is going to be lowercase a, lowercase a, and lowercase a as well. And in this uh, next step, I have extended uh, this uh, side uh, BC all the way to this uh, point uh, P. And as a result, we get this uh, right triangle uh, CPD. And now let's make an observation. We know that this uh, EF uh, side length is square root of uh, 46. Then this uh, segment uh, BP is going to be square root of uh, 46 uh, as well. Then this uh, whole uh, segment uh, CP is going to be lowercase a plus uh, square root of 46. So therefore our this uh, CP length uh, is going to become uh, a plus uh, square root of uh, 46. And now let's make an observation once again. We know this whole uh, side length of this uh, yellow square is uh, square root of uh, 46. And furthermore, uh, this uh, green square side length uh, is uh, lowercase a. So therefore, uh, this uh, remaining uh, segment uh, is going to be square root of 46 uh, minus lowercase a. And we can also see that uh, this uh, segment uh, PD equal to this uh, segment. So therefore, uh, this uh, PD segment is going to be square root of 46 minus a as well. So therefore, uh, we can write uh, this PD segment is going to be square root of 46 uh, minus lowercase a. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, CPD. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle as well. And here's our Pythagorean theorem once again, a square plus b square equal to c square. 
and in our case uh, our this uh, leg uh, c p is uh, square root of 46 uh, plus lowercase a the other leg uh, p d is uh, square root of 46 minus a and the high party news uh, for this right triangle is uh, 10 units so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula so we got uh, square root of uh, 46 uh, plus uh, lowercase a whole uh, square plus likewise uh, square root of uh, 46 uh, minus uh, lowercase a whole uh, square equals to 10 uh, square and now let's recall this uh, famous identity a plus b whole square could be written as a square plus 2ab plus b square we are going to apply this identity on this uh, first binomial so therefore we can write uh, 46 uh, plus 2 times a times uh, square root of uh, 46 uh, plus uh, a square plus and now let's recall another identity a minus b whole square could be written as a square minus 2ab plus b square we are going to apply it uh, on this uh, binomial as well so therefore we can write uh, 46 uh, minus uh, 2 times a times uh, square root of uh, 46 uh, plus uh, a square equals to 100 on the right hand side and now we can see this uh, 2a times uh, square root of 46 and this uh, minus 2a times uh, square root of 46 they cancel each other out so let's combine the like terms let's subtract uh, 92 from both sides this is uh, gone so therefore uh, 2a square turns out to be 8 let's divide both sides by 2 to isolate a square this is gone so therefore a square value turns out to be 4 and now I am going to undo this square by taking a square root on both uh, sides so therefore our lowercase a value turns out to be two units and now since uh, a represents the side length of this uh, green square so therefore the green square side length turns out to be two units so therefore uh, this side length is two units uh, two units uh, two units and this uh, two units across the board and now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, aeb and we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle and here's our Pythagorean theorem in our case uh, two legs are two and two and a b is our hypotenuse so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula so we got two square plus uh, two square equal to a b whole square let's simplify that is going to give us four plus four equal to a b whole square so therefore a b square turns out to be equal to 8 let's uh, undo this square by taking a square root on both uh, sides so therefore our this uh, a b length uh, turns out to be 2 times the uh, square root of 2 units so thus our this uh, a b length uh, turns out to be 2 times square root of 2 units and that's our final answer Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.